Steve is desperate to ditch the fat and get fit for the new year. We're going to try and help him with the aid of personal trainer and fitness expert Laura Williams. It's very difficult to do exercise, but, um, you know, that was the idea of getting a dog was uh, to sort of... So that's as far as we've got. We've got as far as getting a yeah, dog. Yeah. Another seven yeah. stone to go. Oh, that's right. Well, thank God Laura Williams is oh, that's here. What I'm hoping. Fitness She's trainer the to the stars. Laura, I mean, this is obviously a story you've heard a few billion times before. Yes, that's right. And I think it's very easy for fitness people and diet and fitness people like myself to sit around and say, eat less, move more. But how that actually translates mm. to Steve's life. You know, we've got to do a bit of work around that, I think. All right, so to make Steve and me and everybody else with a weight issue watching feel better, tell us you didn't always look like a tiny, weeny little Barbie doll, did you? No, definitely not. No, my before pictures are pretty impressive, actually. Yeah. Really? So you're a proper, reformed, changed person? Absolutely. So it yeah. can be done? It can be done, Vanessa, but I did it in baby steps. I did it in baby steps. So I'm really with Steve mm. when, OK, buying the puppies the first step, getting out the mm. doors the second step, thinking mm. about doing other bits of exercise is the third step. And then I was frightened that you were going to say lots of horrible things that neither of us would want to hear yeah, about. Exercise. You know, starve, exercise, run up hills, run down hills. But actually, Laura's got some nice stuff to say mm. to you instead, haven't oh, you? Oh, good. Yeah, I think you don't need to do any of that, especially at this time of year. I think there's a tendency to think, right, out the door with a quality street, in with the celery. We don't need to do right. any of that, you know. You don't need to sort of bin the takeaway menus, but you do need to make a few modifications, mm -hmm. I think. So I know that you're a fan of your Friday night takeaway, aren't right. you? Right, yes, yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. must. Yeah, you can, yeah, and you can keep doing that, Steve. Yeah. You really can. But if we take, like, a, an Indian takeaway, for example, yeah. I think you're a fan of, like, a, a big curry, aren't you, and all mm -hmm. the trimmings. Mm -hmm. And it's about just chopping that down a bit. So yeah. tomato-based curries are better than, say, coconut and creamy mm. curries. Boiled rice, I'm afraid, rather than yeah. pilau rice. Papadoms over naan You're bread. You're me off already. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is when you're supposed to say naan. There are certain things, and Laura's recipe, we're going to sum up, and mm. we're going to call it the four S's, aren't we? The three oh. S's. Oh, three S's, OK, give us three. The three S's are, OK, so shopping. Yeah. Do you like shopping? Do you and your wife like going out shopping? No. We don't care. Well, I mean, she, does. <laughs> she does. <laughs> she does. <laughs> when do you go out shopping? I, must say, I, I, lost, I, I thought I'd lost my wife just between Christmas and the New Year. Because she but disappeared found, into yeah, the shop. Yeah, in the sales, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, thankfully, <laughs> we've, we've been married for a long time. She don't expect me to go with her anymore. OK, well, this is, Laura's going to change all that. <laughs> yeah. The first of your three S is shopping with the wife. How many calories can you burn off on a shopping expedition, seriously? Hundreds, literally hundreds. And so you could probably burn off more shopping. Oh, how long do you expect the marriage to last <laughs> if they both go <laughs> shopping with the wife? <laughs> it doesn't matter, he'll be thin. Okay? Well, shopping for food. Say again. What if you're shopping for food? Even more. Two oh, baskets yeah. instead of a trolley. Oh, OK. okay. Carrying the shopping, <laughs> slapping up the stairs <laughs> with a a Shopping cake. with the wife. That's a cake. You may shopping. prefer number two. OK, the second number S. Two, really Saunas. Maybe. Saunas with Saunas. the wife. Sweating with, with the wife. Sweating. Um, Getting hot and sound steamy. Doesn't sound appealing, does it, really? No. Well, why not? What about if I told oh. you a Japanese study, scientists have found in Japan that it does the same for you as an exercise session, fitness-wise. Does it? Not calorie burning wise, but fitness wise, it'll do the same for your well, arteries. It's probably worth a go, isn't it? Yeah. I'd say so. Yeah. It's better than running up a mountain, isn't it? Yeah. Let's yeah. see if he but prefers number three. S number three. What am I going to come up with S number three? Sex. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Oh, oh, I remember. Can't that. Really... Look at Brendan, he's shocked. Oh, he's shocked. Oh, he's he's sex off. with his own wife. Nobody <laughs> so does that, do they? Sex <laughs> after <laughs> marriage, I've never heard of that. Do you? Is that appealing? Oh, dear. That's a, that's a good one, yes. It's a good one. I bring you good news and bad news. What are you suggesting? I don't do enough of it? Or, um... <laughs> no, I don't think anyone who definitely does enough of it. it. <laughs> OK, so sex burns seven calories a minute. OK. Right. Brendan, the bad news is... Only seven. Depends what kind of sex you have. Who's doing all the work, if you ask me, but... Beloved, seven calories? So, is that all? <laughs> oh, right, no, no, I thought it was more than that. No, no, Big Ben's doing seven, seven minutes. Seven calories a minute. Seven calories a minute. Oh, so it's also incentive to last oh, a little oh, right, longer, right, gentlemen. Right, right, right. The longer you last, like the thinner you end up, surely. <laughs> yeah. The this really shocking part of the news is, yeah. is that the average British sex session lasts four minutes. Really? Wow. Living the dream, ladies. Living the dream. Four minutes. That long. <laughs> so you need to be. Wait, the... no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you. Four minutes. You see, that's something to strive for. Oh, sorry. <laughs> OK, so shopping, sex, sex and, and sauna. Sandwich. And I think right. Brenda's got one more. Hey, come on, there's got to be a bit of dancing there. How about a bit of dance? 
You're watching The Vanessa Show with me, Vanessa Feltz, special guest Brendan Cole, fitness guru Laura Williams, and my other half, Ben. And we can't wait to talk about what we really, really want. And Ben, I just don't get it. Something's really tickled your fancy this week. Really? Now, what would you really, really want, sweetheart? Well, I hope this isn't uh, going to offend anybody, but what I really, really want, having read that 54% of adults have at some point in their lives enjoyed sex in a car, it took me back. Well, it's the kind of thing that you always saw in, in those old movies, like Lemon Popsicle... Yeah, American and, Graffiti. And, uh, American Graffiti, Grease, yeah. and stuff like that. That whole thing, the car thing, I'm I don't know. You know quiet. I'm staying well out of it. Oh, yeah, it's it's nowadays youth, for that sort of thing. In your antipathy and youth, did you ever partake in, the, in a car? Um, I can't remember that, but I'll find back at the age of 34. His wife is watching. Yeah. What are you talking about? Did I? <laughs> Would you? Would I? I don't know. I'm, I don't feel a great pull, but then I drive a Corsa, so maybe if I'd have been... <laughs> I, I don't... Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Sex and of course there'd be a great deal to commend it, really. Mm. Yes. Do you think hatchback filled with dumbbells and medicine balls? Yes. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Anything yeah. Like yeah. Jessie, wouldn't it? I'll don't don't think anything other back. than the marital duvet and the bedroom with its flock wallpaper and the matching curtains. Anything other than that. Probably more than seven calories a minute in a car. You probably Definitely. up to twelve or thirteen. Yeah. All Did that. Did you win a horn goes off? Yeah. yeah. See, I think <laughs> that inspired you. It's got a sort of nostalgic feeling to it, doesn't it?